going on, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black to Wetlock. Now, last episode, we encountered Team Plasma and challenged all the regular trainers of the first gym, and we're now going to challenge our first gym leader, Cherin. So, let's get to this already. I know my face is beautiful, and I could talk all day. But come on, you're here for Pokemon, not my face, really. Admit it. Here we are in the Espirita City Pokemon Center. We did a lot of off-screen training for you guys, because in Challenge Road, I never really played before, but gym leaders are really going to be tough. So without further ado, we have Devin the Pizza with at level 15 with Gus, Air Carter, Leer, and Quick Attack. And then he and his wife, Chewie, are assigned to Box 2. And Chewie is level 14 with Tackle. Leer, Helping Hand, and Bite. And off screen, Chewie's pickup ability actually even took an effect. I got a Hyper Potion and a Quick and a Great Ball. I'm pretty sure that was from the second episode, actually, so I'm not exactly 100% sure. I think that it actually is. Even though I still have those items for the great use. And then, of course, we have Stella, the Purloin, at level 13, with Scratch, Fury, Swipe, Assist, and Stand Attack. She and her wife. Danny the Snivy are assigned to box number one with t and Danny's level 14 with Tackle, Leer, Fine Whip, and Whap. So then we're going to finish the gym and defeat Sharon, the first gym leader. Oh, looks like I was wrong. Looks like we're in the philosophy town. But yeah, that's why I did off screen training in this route. Okay. So I'm recording late in the night. It's almost 10.30 actually in my time. Here we go. Time to finish what we started. Am I right, peepers? So of course we took on this idiot and that idiot. Now it's time to take on this idiot. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Well here we go, take it on chair and no more glasses. Once you were playing in normal, he would only have two Pokemon on his team, and they would both be definitely lower level than they are now. One of them being this pet rat right here. And of course, for this battle, we're gonna have Stefan and Chewy take it on. It's gonna be normal types versus normal types. So I'll go ahead and use Quick Attack. Not bad, not bad. Gonna use work up now. The chills of that move. I see you'll be a powerful opponent. Yep, because he's not in the red, I don't think he'll be wasting the potion. Oh, he will be wasting that potion. Get the hand. What a waste of a potion. Waste of potion. Waste of potions of Pokemon. Wasting pricey potions on priceless Pokemon. So luckily for us, Devin will survive this battle. And the pet rat has been taken down. And now Charles gonna send in his little cup and we'll copy his response and in Chewy! Yeah! Of course both of our little cups are definitely different. He just has an on very end work up part of his arsenal. And it's a male. 
So I'll actually go for a little while he goes for a workout. May not do much, but it'll do what we need. Go for a tackle. Couple of workouts and I'm really sure if Chewie Devin will survive. Ooh, almost gonna do half damage. And it comes with an ordinary. The chewy pickup ability is going to go on the spawn, pick up that ornberry, and use him for itself. So now we don't need to waste a turn to heal him up, and he'll survive. Now that's what I call good work for pickup. So there we go, his lily puff is down, that's the strongest Pokemon. Chewie survived it. His last Pokemon's gonna be Peter, and we're gonna bring out our Devin to take that thing out. As a gym leader, I will aim for the wall for the overcome, or whatever he said. Feel like I got it right. I'll use the fresh water really quick. We got like three levels above this thing, we'll definitely survive. All the off screen training, definitely worth it. So he may work up for two much if he wants. Thankfully, I hit the up Devon's at full health. We have faith in him. Go, quick attack! We'll work up again. Come people, we have faith in Devon. Oh, it goes well. We'll take him out right here, right now. We have faith in Devin. And there we go, people. We have taken out the first gym leader with all our Pokemon surviving. This, this is what a real Pokemon battle is like. Of course, we got a buttload of money. That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of your strength. You and your Pokemon showed it. Looks like we just got a basic badge. What used to be the second gym badge is now the First. Here's your first gym badge, the basic badge. Sounds simple enough. This is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And I want you to take this. We have a team T is a three rock up now. So we definitely have a couple of so definitely all of our team members can benefit from that. Oh, I forgot the spell line. Yep. Two years ago, Pokey left in hand. I left on my journey with my friend. Okay, goodbye.
How was it? How did your How did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing! And you just set off on your journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is for me. It's a TM for the move return. So we've got two TMs after another. Mm. This is definitely not bad. Def we can definitely get a return to Chewy. Still, that chairman. Bianca. It's just two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow. Well, what's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other in their cross transceiver. Now you can communicate with me from your cross transceiver. And me too. I registered Professor Juniper for you too. Oh. Target is I Professor Juniper. We all told you something poking out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank to you, we will all know more about Pokemon and we'll ever get along with them even better. Hi Professor, Professor Jennifer, it's really interesting over here. There's so many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. Blank is going so far for this end, Bianca. Terrence, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been too long. I'm glad you're doing so well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners, I'll tear it. Having battles that come down to the wire will make you a gym leader who deepens the bond between your counters and the Pokemon rock. It'll be, it'll be fine. Chance a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and Ian is a new trainer. But we, but we always have Pokemon by our side. Plus, like we all go. Our world is one where we live with Pokemon. Our blood keep and mind as you pursue the dream with the Pokemon, particularly you, Ian. Pokedex may be important, but first enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your pod's tent. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to do this place. Yeah, I think that's totally gonna be spot on with the anime. Ha, and isn't Professor Jamba cool? If you talk to her on the cross and see if she'll evaluate your completeness of your Pokedex or tell her a lot about how Pokemon evolve. And you can call us too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and the Pokemon are getting along, okay? I'll have my back. Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Okay. Are you the gym leader? What? Two, three, let's go! You look like a tough trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. Well, with that weak answer, I'm definitely gonna take you down! Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. The next thing is to make sure that you can use a sea gear. A sea gear is a crawl device communication such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and blah 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 Here we go we know about the Sega 
check this. The Seagull was activated and the screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon in the bottom right corner of the Seagull screen, you can read about the Seagull. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you gonna do now? You know there's another Pokemon gym in Furbank City, which is just past Philosophy Town. Okay, thanks for the advice, idiot. I'm leaving. So yeah, there we go. I'll probably go ahead and get to Burbank City next. And there's enough time, maybe even catch our next team member. And then maybe call off the episode. We've been having gameplay for 15 minutes now. So let's continue on our journey. I think for the next gym, we'll have to stick with Devin and Chewy again. Because Danny will not be able to take on the next gym and all this poison tightness. And we couldn't have poor Stella run it all alone. But there's another pet bat right there. So yep, we're continuing on. Now of course voices for some of these characters have made our numbers turn up so to episode. Hey! Oh my god, what do you want? I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex that I gave you. I'm going to add the habitat list. It's an amazing feature. I'm just going to buy a podcast for a second. Blah, 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 yes, list. With the habitat list, you can check with Pokemon in the area the most. It's in the pocket actually. It's over the pocket axe. And I have to have that list on the lower left. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. I'm ugly and I have a super class of that used belong to my air boyfriend. My rock is up, 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 Oh, I actually forgot to do it so I can set the option tech speed the fast. Definitely go faster now. Hurry, that blue thing there is a basic match. Don't get a swelled head. It's the rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. So here goes where it's held by Hacker Jerome. This is not his Violu. I think we have seven at the front of the party. So let's just make do what we need. Oh, it just survived. So it's a quick tap to be safe. Yeah, thanks for the money, Adley. Where I'm big. Blah 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 blah. blah I'm big. <gasps> what do you two want? I don't care about the stupid double grass. He you know, does an awesome mechanic that I hope it turns into maybe we'll be an out sapphire. Definitely one of a kind mechanic to Gen 5. Oh my 
my god, I'm talking to people, talking, I hate people. Cross me, grab a challenge, and just ugly little girl. So it's time for preschool and win! Send out her really pop. My really pop ten times cooler than yours. I'll show you. Go get it. See how much air kind of will do. Not bad. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Not bad indeed. It's not good at all, but not bad indeed. But of course, it's a crit on the second attack, of course. So let's just continue on to the right. I don't know how to say blah 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 blah. Oh, I guess that's a lot of I got cute and ugly faces. Let's just run away. I don't care about these wild Pokemon. And we found an antidote, even though we just received like a bunch of panta berries. And now we have a dire hit. If we ever get like one of those KM or whatever, just challenge these two ugly girls. So we're talking about twins, Leah and Lily. They both have sunken. That's gonna suck for theirs. Of course, the air cutter will be hitting both of them at the same time. Oh, even though Chewie just got that crit. making pretty good timing right now. So I'll go ahead into Burbank City. Maybe I'll even call this episode short because it's actually pretty close to 11 o'clock and I need to get some sleep before school tomorrow. Yeah, I'm actually just recording a little late today. Go to the cross and see what starts doing now. And it's a and it's a stupid mom with that stupid up uh, ponytail. Of course, here we have the gym leader. I'm just gonna skip through this dialogue. I'm starting to get a little tired now. So I'll catch the Pokemon down here for the Burbank Complex. And kill this episode off. Of course now we can catch any gender for this next Pokemon who will be assigned to uh, cause and it's a Patrat. It's female Patrat too. Quick attack. Yeah, it, is, it will definitely survive one more quick attack. Oh, come on. Well, there we go, guys. We failed to catch the first Pokemon for this route. So, I'll go ahead and call this episode off right now because it's starting to get a little late. And thanks for watching, guys. And remember to like and subscribe for more YouTube videos. And I guess that'll be it for now. I'm the Pokemon Brother. Out.